Assalamualaikum uh, Hello and good morning uh, Today, I would like to share with you about the WWF So, uh, WWF means it's a worldwide fund For the first one, I will uh, explain to you about the world uh, worldwide uh, fund For the first one is uh, the inspiration for the WWF logo came uh, from a Chi Chi, uh, a giant panda that was living uh, at the London Zoo uh, in 1961. The same uh, the same year with uh, WWF found uh, create. Uh, the second one is uh, the panda uh, with uh, is a distinctive black and white coat uh, is adored by the world and considered a national uh, treasure in China. Uh, the third one is the bear is also has special significance for WWF because uh, it has uh, been uh, our logo uh, since our founding in 1691 okay hi guys so the next one I will explain to you about what is a worldwide fund okay so for the first one I will explain to you about the worldwide fund uh, for nature uh, it's an uh, international uh, non-government uh, organization. Uh, uh, the next is a conservation organization uh, with a five million supporter uh, worldwide. Uh, we working in, in more one hundred uh, countries. Right. So uh, worldwide, WFF uh, was found uh, in uh, twenty nine April uh, nineteen sixty one ago as a world wildlife fund okay so number five is a uh, founder uh, the founder of uh, wwf is a uh, prince of Benhur. okay the founder of wws is a uh, prince behub of uh, lippi and prince uh, philip a uh, duke of edinburgh okay the headquarters uh, the hq uh, of a WWF uh, office at the Bruce Mulvaney Glen, uh, Vaux, Switzerland. Right. Okay, hi guys. So the next one I will explain to you about the purpose of a WWF is a worldwide fund. So the purpose uh, of a WWF is uh, to stop the degradation of the planet environment and to build a future which uh, a human life in harmony with nature. So the next one is to undertake the scientific uh, field research, uh, public uh, awareness, uh, campaign, uh, business and uh, industry uh, engagement, environment, education as uh, well uh, as a policy and advocacy. Okay, hi. The next one I will explain and share to you about uh, WWF uh, do in Malaysia. What they do in the Malaysia. Alright. For the first one, WWF uh, established as a national conservation trust on 13 uh, January 1972. WWF uh, Malaysia begin as a humble two-person organization. WWF in have uh, close 200 people working for us from Kedah to Sabah. Okay. So the next one is a WWF formation early work focus on the scientific research of wildlife and important natural habitat. The organization did run more than 19 uh, projects uh, covering, co covering uh, a diverse uh, range of environmental protection and nature conservation work in Malaysia. So the last one is a working um, uh, WWF uh, working to promote harmony between human beings and nature for for decades. Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum and Salam Sejahtera. My name is Fahani Shifa Binti Ramazan. My metric number is 16 DUP 17 F220 16. Um, today, I would like to share for you guys about what is UNESCO. Uh, UNESCO is uh, one of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. And second is uh, History of the UNESCO. History of UNESCO is in 1945, the nation were in ruins. So the World War um, II was over and 
Pitt. United Nations was established on 1945 on October 24 to answer that concern. Uh, United Nations is an intergovernmental organization to promote international cooperation among nations. Found, uh, they were founded on 16 November, November in 1945. There was uh, 195 member state, 8 associate members in countries. The sorry, governed governed by the General Conference and the Executive Board, the secret area, uh, head by the Director General implement the decision of these two bodies. Executive Board, they have uh, fifty five members. Uh, in state, uh, there are too many of staff at HQ at Paris. Uh, for example, they have two thousand staff, six hundred and forty staff in field office. Uh, they have uh, fifty three office, and they also have three hundred NGO. And they work together to collaborate and create a program together. And the last one I would like to uh, share also for guys about UNESCO aim. They have four aim, such as United uh, UNESCO is an uh, UN, such as uh, United Nations body responsible for promoting uh, pitch social justice and human rights and international uh, security in collaboration with the world of interna international they also collaborate with other education such as international education science and culture program for the second one, uh, aim is to promote international cooperation with education, science and culture. For the third one is conduct illiteracy eradication activities and the obligation to learn for all people of member countries. And the last one is elevate the dignity and degree of human life that's all from me uh, our next presenter uh, will share for you guys about unesco program thank you Education of all okay macam menyokong memberi uh, memberi pendidikan kepada uh, kepada golongan OKU lepas tu dia memberi uh, bantuan kewangan kepada golongan yang miskin lepas tu uh, nature system uh, manager of the each uh, resource uh, dia macam memberi uh, memberi tan, uh, pengetahuan tanah dan sumber pengetahuan kepada orang asli dan orang tempatan mengenai pelbagai uh, ekosistem uh, di Asia lepas tu uh, resource of human site kaca kaca ni macam memberi perlindungan kepada pembangunan uh, pembangunan warisan dan kebudayaan contoh macam negeri uh, negeri Pinai dengan Melaka dia terkenal dengan tempat uh, bersejarah Lepas tu uh, community information Community information ni macam berumput dan media access uh, pada uh, Pada uh, maklumat dan pengetahuan selaras Okey, lepas tu sumbangan uh, UNESCO kepada Malaysia Dia memberi sumbangan kepada pe pengeluaran uh, makanan di bawah agensi Pertumbuhan makanan dan pertanian Lepas tu dia memberi uh, bidang kesihatan dan uh, pengurusan kesihatan WHO, uh, World Heart uh, Organization memberi, Lepas tu nombor tiga memberi bidang uh, sains dan teknologi di bawah pendidikan Uh, Bantu uh, budaya bangsa-bangsa bersatu Lepas tu, okay. 
vision uh, of the WTO. WTO ni dia macam uh, melindung uh, fauna dan fauna hutan. Uh, the Amazon Amazon uh, Center Plan uh, dia macam melindung uh, macam uh, fauna dan fauna lepas tu tempat hutan-hutan yang di kat Malaysia. Uh, lepas tu uh, enam negeri pengembangan Asia Pacific Afrika yang pingin ada uh, tempat yang paling terkenal uh, pada tahun Uh, 2009 Ok, uh, sumbangan WTO kepada Malaysia adalah untuk meningkatkan ini Malaysia di peringkat antarabangsa sebagai generasi pelancongan Bawa pelancong luar datang Malaysia untuk meningkatkan uh, produk-produk yang terdapat di Malaysia Lepas tu pembangunan didakarkan uh, WSB pelancongan memerlukan uh, Assalamualaikum, my name is Zulia Nasyawada binti Zahirul Maulud My metric number is 2022 Okay, today I want to present you about United Nations World Tourism Organization Okay, United Nations World Tourism Nation Organization uh, as a now UNWTO Okay, the first the first slide I want to tell you about history UNWTO. UNWTO founded on 1 November 9, 1974. Yes. Okay, second hit uh, headquarter is um is uh, Madrid, Spain. Okay, third type United Nations Specialized uh, Agency. Okay, and uh, now I will continue the new slide. The new slide is a uh, United Nations World Tourism Organization aim. Okay, the first is a uh, United Nations agency responsible for the promote and promotion of responsibility, sustainable, sustainable and universally uh, accessible tourism. Okay, Pertubuhan Pelancongan Sedunia UNWTO adalah agensi Pertubuhan Bangsa-Bangsa Bersatu yang bertanggungjawab untuk memuasikan pelancongan dan bertanggungjawab lestari dan yang bertanggungjawab lestari dan boleh diakseskan secara universal. Contohnya adalah untuk dia memuasikan uh, negara-negara untuk memajukan dasar pem pengetahuan dan pelancongan di seluruh dunia. UNWTO promote tourism as a driver of economic growth, inclusive growth, inclusive development and environment sustainability. Okay, UNWTO ni ada dia mempromosikan mempromosikan pelancongan sebagai pemacu dari sektor pertumbuhan ekonomi, pembangunan inklusif dan kelestarian alam. Okay, the second is uh, encourage the implementation of the global code of ethnic for tourism to to maximum tourism social economy. Okay, UNWTO ni juga dia menggalakkan pelaksanaan kod etika global untuk memaksimalkan social ekonomi pelancongan. Contohnya dia tak dia buat kod ni sebab dia tak mau um, dia nak mengurangkan kemiskinan dan untuk pembangunan yang mampan di seluruh negara. Third is a uh, generated market knowledge promote competitive and sustainable 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 uh, tourism and in, instrument for uh, foster tourism education training. UNWTO ni juga menjanakan pengaturan pemasaran uh, menggalakkan dasar dan instrumen pelancong yang kompetitif dan mampan memupuk pendidikan yang memupuk uh, memupuk pendidikan dan latihan pelancongan di seluruh dunia. Uh, membership include uh, 100 uh, 150 uh, 59 country and a six accepted uh, member and over uh, 500 uh, of affiliated uh, member. Okay, uh, history uh, history UNWTO ni ditubuhkan pada tahun 1 November 1 November 1974. Dia telah ber, uh, dia telah berkuat kuasa selama 45 tahun. UNWTO ni mempunyai ibu pejabat di Madrid, Spain. 
UNWTO ni adalah sejenis uh, pertubuhan bangsa-bangsa bersatu UNWTO ni juga mempunyai 1959 uh, member um, ahli yang termasuklah Malaysia dia mempunyai 6 ahli bersekutu dan juga 500 ahli gabungan yang terdapat di 159 buah negara yang telah disebutkan Okay, the fourth is uh, work to make tourism an effective tool for development through techni technical assistance project in over 100 country the world Okay, uh, yang keempat adalah dia berfungsi untuk menjadikan pelancongan sebagai alat yang berkesan untuk pembangunan melalui projek bantuan teknikal di di lebih daripada 100 buah negara di seluruh dunia. You know the last slide is a contribution of United Nation Nation World Tourism Organization. Okay, the first is a UN WTO Okay, uh, the last is uh, increased contribution in the tourism sector of country. Okay, uh, semua sumbangan ni uh, dia untuk meningkatkan lagi sektor sektor pelancongan di seluruh negara. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you for learning.